Welcome back to our YouTube channel, everybody. In today's video, we'll be having some driver interviews, but we'll also be showing y'all how to merge in front of one of these big trucks coming down the highway. One of our owner ops just rolled in, my man Daniel. Let's go check out his truck. That's us, that's right. Gotta love this American ride. What's your favorite part about being a truck driver? Uh, my favorite part uh, is probably just the freedom. The freedom to do uh, pretty much what I want out there, you know? Go anywhere. And it's just me and my truck. Yeah. That's what I love the best. Yeah. What's the hardest part about being an owner op? Oh man, as far as being an owner op, probably just the maintenance of the truck. Other than that, there's really nothing hard about it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. How's the maintenance? It ain't cheap. Hell no, it ain't cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that, man. Yeah, it ain't cheap at all. But if you take care of it, it'll take care of you. So yeah. you can minimize those costs by just taking care of it. Yeah. Sure. What's your advice for new truck drivers just getting started? Oh man, that's a tough one. Uh, as far as an owner op goes, save every penny you can. Save every penny you can, put money away because things are going to happen and it's going to cost you money. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of guys have the issue of managing their money. It doesn't matter how much they make, they splurge and spend it all. I know it. How do you feel about that? Well, I'll be honest with you, I made my own mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> And I've learned the hard way. It took me a while to learn that, but that's what I have learned. The more money you save, the more money you put aside, the easier it is when stuff does happen. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And something can happen at any time. Any time, <laughs> any second. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. What's one place in America you wouldn't go with the truck? California. Why? Because California sucks. Yeah. Actually, I'll, I'll never go back. I went to Long Island one time. I went through New York. I'll never go back there again. You couldn't pay me enough to go back there again. Well, I won't say that. Money does talk. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably go back to New York if they pay me a lot, but I won't set foot in California. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. What's the difference between trucking now and trucking in, in the good old day? Uh, I was a company man in the good old days, so I really couldn't answer that. But I was a company man. I had to do what I was told. Yeah, not uh, anymore, huh? Not anymore, though. <laughs> it's good old days for me right now, but I, every day's a good day for me. Okay. Shoot, tell us about your truck. What you driving? Uh, man, I got a uh, 2018 Kenworth T680. I got about 650,000 miles on her. What's your favorite part about it? Uh, it's actually pretty good on fuel, and it's an automatic, so I get to relax. She rides smooth as long as I keep good tires on her. I like her. Her name's Bessie. Betsy? Oh, Bessie. Bessie? Oh, yeah. Okay. Bessie does good, man. Thank you. Sometimes I got to cuss her out going over the hills, man. <laughs> it ain't pulling, huh? It ain't pulling. Sometimes she gets lazy as me, so. <laughs> like it's older, huh? I know. Well, all right, man. Well, thank you. We ain't going to torture you no more. Oh, yeah. That's us. That's right. Gotta love this American ride. Don't cut off a semi truck. So when should you get in front of one of these big trucks? I would say when you see the top of the truck in your side view mirror, then you start making your way into that lane, but you must maintain or accelerate your speed. The last thing you wanna do is get in front of that big truck and start slowing down and hitting your brake. Let's also go ask one of our truck drivers here and see what he thinks about it all. When would you say is it safe for a car to merge in front of a truck? That's just, that's just hard to say, man. We can't drive for nobody else. Because they are leaving us in no open. Yeah. But that, because at 78,000 pounds going down the interstate, and now you ain't paying attention in that phone, and you cut us off and we hit you, it ain't our fault. But at the end of the day, they're going to say it's our damn fault. Yeah. Protect yourself, protect others. Let's all get to where we are going safely. This is just my advice as well. So if y'all have anything else to say or add to it, Comment it down below. Let's help keep each other alive. We have someone that's been with us for years, actually. Let's go talk to Dre here and see what he got to say. That's us. That's right. Gotta love this American ride. What's up, everybody? We got my man, Dondre, here. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good, man. Cool. How long you been driving? So 14 years now. Yeah? Yeah. What's the hardest part about being a truck driver? Mm, probably just uh, staying away from the family, yeah. you know. But other than that, it's, it's really not hard at all. I'll end up dealing with the craziness out on the road, but other than that, that's probably about the hardest part. What's the craziest thing you've experienced as a truck driver? Hmm. Maybe somebody trying to fight you at a ship or a receiver. That happened to me once, so 
Why, man? Who'd you piss off? No, nah, I, I didn't do the pissing off. It was people, I guess he was mad at the world, so he guess he took it out on me, but I I just asked him a question, like, like where's the chicken? And it's, it took off from there, so. Oh, uh, like I said, you'll never know what people going through, you know, being out here on the road, so. Yeah, it ain't easy. It ain't easy at all, man. What's the worst lie you've ever heard in trucking? I ran, what, 6,000 miles in one week or <laughs> went from California to New York in a day and stuff like that. You have, you, man, you hear a lot All of the super that. trucker talk? Yeah, a bunch of super trucker talk. <laughs> but you hear a bunch of that at the truck stops and stuff, man. So, but that's probably about the biggest one. Like, you know, I mean, not saying it's not possible, but. I mean, most people that talk like people, that don't do it. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it, it, it sounds good, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's your least favorite place to go to in America with the truck? Anywhere in the Northeast. <laughs> like Why? Because it's small. It's not made for trucks, man. It's not made for trucks. Like all of New York and the like the, the city. Like, you know, it's not made for it's not made for trucks. Tight roads. Tight roads. No low bridges. Anywhere and like I say, for me, anywhere in the Northeast it ain't that's my that's the worst place I wanna go back to. How you feel about the people that are gonna comment on that and say uh, you don't want to make money? Hey, it's all y'all. Like if y'all, hey, it's up there. Y'all go get it. Just I'm not going to get it. Over there. That ain't about to you don't have all. to, right? Nah, I ain't have to. No. Plenty of money in the Midwest. That's what Midwest, guys need to yeah. realize. South, yeah, yeah. If y'all want to go up there, go ahead. Hey, hey. let me know how it goes. Yeah. So what? Nah. More money for them, right? Yeah. It is not going to, I am not going to be mad. <laughs> it would not piss me off. What was the hardest thing you learned in this business? Mm. What I've learned, it took me a while to learn. Because the money was coming so, man, save, save your money for a rainy day. Yeah. Especially in trucking, like, put back something. If, even if it's something small, that something small can go a long way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. The thing with it is, when it's good, it's good, it, and when it rains, it pours. It pours, you know? like yeah, that yeah, that would be. It took me a while to learn that. So, but like, I learned it. It took me too long to learn it, but I'm glad I learned it when I did because like now it's like yeah, finances. That's that's save your money, man. Like that's my that that's the, that's what it took me. A little while to learn. Yeah. Save your money. The other thing with it is uh, God don't give it to you if you don't see you're ready for it, you know? Exactly. If or if ready, he sees you're not ready for it. If you're not ready for that blessing, he'll show you that. He's, you know, yeah. like, all right, I'm going to show you, but let me take it back. Yeah, right yeah, quick, for sure. Just to see, you know. What's one thing you would want to change about the industry? One thing I would change about the industry. I guess what you would call the, like, the brotherhood. Like, you, you, you see a lot of people out there, man, that... Before they help somebody, they pull out the phone and start recording them. Like so, just that I guess that that brotherhood of trucking, that that's one thing I would like to see changing the industry with people helping each other instead of yeah. like making jokes and. Making you fun don't of see them. much of that in this world at all. Nah, like before they help. But truckers used to stick together. Yeah, now that's what I'm yeah, like, yeah, like when I first started, like it was people was together, man. You know what I'm saying? It was like more of like a. I ain't gonna say like a family, but in a, a family in a sense, like because hey, you drive a truck, I drive a truck, so we're connected like there somewhere. Yeah. Like if I see you break down, like you know, like you don't even hear them talk on the CBs no more, man. Like you know, are you team manual or team automatic? <laughs> manual, man. Why? I don't know. I guess like that's what I started off with. I mean, um, don't get me wrong, I have been in some automatics, and but like for me, I, I'm a manual. Man, your guy. That's what, a, 10 speed, 13? 13. 13. Definitely 13, yeah. Yeah, yeah 13 speed. <laughs> well, I say, but like I said, not, nothing against the automatic trucks, but like I said, for me, I like a manual. But like I said, at the same time, I got the, you know, you got to realize, like I said, trucking is changing every day, so I see everybody going to the automatic. So, yeah. like, like I said, I won't be against it, but my preference will be a manual. What's the hardest part about being an owner operator? Man, just like I said, keeping your your equipment up. Because like I said, if that goes down, that if your if your equipment goes down as an owner operator, man, you, that's your bread and butter. Like that's I feel like that's the hardest part. And like I said, back to finance and saving your money, man. Like yeah. so if you can save your money and keep your equipment up, I feel like you'll be pretty good.
Depends on the operator, man. Well, all right, man. Well, thank you. All right, no problem, man. <laughs> that's us. That's right. Gotta love this American ride. And that concludes this week's video. Thank you guys for watching till the end. We appreciate the love and support. Stay tuned for next week's video. Like, subscribe, and comment down below what kind of content you want to see. Other than that, stay safe and God bless you and keep trucking.